I noticed after session four, fourth day, uh, I still had the pains, the aches and pains, uh, but they weren't, they weren't as bad. Uh, I, I went to roll off the bed to get up to put my shoes on, and I didn't think about it. Uh, to bend down, to put your finger around the back of your shoe, to slip your shoe on. I'd still struggle to do that. Um, and so then it got to five, then it got to seven, then it got to the last one, and, and I actually was put my shoes on without thinking about it. And I started laughing coming out of the uh, out of the room, and Ian said, you know, it'll get better, don't you? It'll get, if you feel good now, just wait. And I tell you now, he was so, everything he said was spot on. I've got no reason to tell you other, any, uh, uh, and, uh, and, and for any other reason, because I know that I want people to hear this. I want people to see this. I want people to, to see their life can change because it changed mine. And, and that's, I keep telling everybody, just have a look, just have a go. It's just so hard to explain, but... To me, um, I think the treatment, I felt it before it was over. Uh, it's got better and better as the months have gone on. A year's gone down, we were just talking here and I myself. A year's gone by and uh, he said, because I said to Ian, when should I actually do it again? He said, maybe maybe in about three years. I'm thinking, I'm not going to wait a year, three years for it to start it again. I actually, I've forgotten where it hurt, but he said, do it again. I was, okay, so I am going to do it again just for the sake of doing it. My elder brother, uh, six foot seven years, as a youngster, uh, the doctor said he had something called rickets. Uh, uh, us old folks remember what it was, he, the young folks won't. Uh, he was bow-legged and uh, they wanted to break his legs and put uh, a sort of rod down his legs, so, so hoping they, they'll go sh grow straight. My mum said, no, don't do it. Um, uh, so for years, you know, he, he walked with a, with a waddle. We, we used to take the mickey out, walk with a waddle. He's now almost 60 years old. He put weight on, uh, went up to nearly 19 stone. I told him about this. He's very skeptical of, nah, I don't believe in that stuff. I said, Brenton, try it. It's not invasive. Just try it. 60 years now, you're 60 years old now. Just try it. My brother went up to Bingham, uh, uh Oakwood MBST, went there. As he went inside, he, he checked it out, spoke to Ian. Then he came up to Sheffield at the S20 uh, clinic, and um, and he did the session. My brother now has gone down to 16 stone four. He said he walks with a limp because of habit, and I keep saying to him, "You need to learn to walk again." Can you imagine saying that to a six-year-old man? You've got need to learn to walk again, and he forgets. He started training again. He showed me something because I, I was a, a professional athlete for a living. I take things for granted. He showed me he's like he's balancing on one leg, doing an airplane. He said, "Look at this." So he started training, getting himself in great shape. He cannot believe that this exists, and and so I'm seeing somebody else that he's made a massive difference to. And my brother, he he's he's based in London. He came up here for like ten days to just say, "Right, I'm doing this." He wants to come again. I said, "It's not even been a year." But he just said, look, he's life-changing.